Here's the timeline of it all. Right now, sitting mainly on the North Shore down towards uh, the south of Baton Rouge, towards Morgan City. We put it in motion. By six o'clock or so, that's when we'll start to see some showers here in New Orleans. But models do weaken this quite a bit, especially south of the lake as that blows on through. So we'll just have to watch it, but it is looking like maybe a weakening trend as it moves through after six, seven o'clock or so. Still pretty strong storms on the Mississippi close closer to seven o'clock though. And then after seven, eight, things should start to wind down. A lot of clouds sticking around, maybe a few lingering showers, but no severe weather after eight o'clock or so. And then through the overnight hour, we'll see a lot of clouds, maybe some patchy fog, but I think we'll see more drizzle and some light showers pushing on through as we go into Saturday morning. And then through Saturday afternoon, it looks like we could see uh, a few additional showers, but I don't think heavy rain will be a main threat tomorrow. Not the story on Sunday. Our next dose of severe weather. It comes on Sunday, a very active weather pattern we've got going on here. Right now, everyone's under a level one out of five. That's pretty low, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this maybe go up to a slight risk because we are expecting a pretty strong storm system to blow on through. So the current situation Situation. We've got a little weak cool front that's going to slide on through. Give us some north winds tomorrow. Highs will be in the low 70s tomorrow with just a few showers, a lot of clouds. And then by Sunday, our next storm system starts to develop off towards Texas. A warm front will lift through the area late Saturday and into Sunday, and that will put us in an unstable air mass. So we'll be looking at more ingredients for severe weather on Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. Notice this is by 9, 10 o'clock, already seeing widespread showers and thunderstorms. Some of this is going to be heavy. We'll have to watch for localized street flooding, but also we'll have to watch for damaging winds and maybe isolated tornadoes as this blows on through. Notice by the late morning into the afternoon, things start to wind down as that low pressure flies on by and then behind it, Boy, do we have some cold, cold air headed our way, at least cold for our standards, right? And that will be filtering in as we go into Monday. By the way, this thing's going to blow up into a huge storm system off towards the north and east where they're going to get snow. So we go from 71 tomorrow, 75 on Sunday, 54 for your high on Monday. Get the boots out 53 on Tuesday. Some places might not even get out of the upper 40s on Tuesday, and then we're back into the mid 60s before another cool front moves in by late Thursday going into Friday. So we've got some nice doses of some colder air. Looks like we will see our first freeze Tuesday morning north of the lake, upper 20s down into the river and bayou parishes. We could even see a light freeze here in the metro. I think we'll see the mid 30s, so a frost possible uh, Wednesday morning north of the lake, possibly a light freeze around 31 to 30 degrees. So two mornings of a light freeze. It doesn't look like a hard freeze at this point, but uh, it's just a reminder that December is nearly here. So watching storms today through the rest uh, next couple of hours or so. Rain showers possible tomorrow, but not 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 heavy, heavy rain and then heavy rain and severe thunderstorms <coughs> possible on Sunday before we are drier and much, much colder heading into next week.